So I just walked on this beach for a little while. You know, my intention for today was to just walk really fast and go, go, go. You know, take a break, but try to get a lot of kilometers out of the way in the morning. And then I passed this beach, it was so beautiful. And there are a couple of bars and restaurants here. They're not open yet, but it just made me think, maybe I'll just end my pilgrimage. <laughs> maybe oh, I could just get a little room, one of the guest houses here and just come down to the beach for the next five days and eat and drink and sit and swim and write. And it seemed pretty perfect. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna continue my pilgrimage. I have six days of walking left, including today. And yeah, the Alberia situation is a little tricky. I think for the next, well, for today at least, there aren't many options. And the pilgrims in my Alberia last night, you know, this morning, a group got up really early and started and were kind of joking, but also serious, I think, about needing to beat others so that they could get beds. And my original plan today was to walk 35 kilometers, which is a big day, um, to a little Albergue in Sardillo. But it's one of the fewer options, and I think a lot of people are going to try to go there. So I'm not really sure what to do. Uh, the next place is at 45 kilometers, which is really far. Um, but I might try to do it. I don't know. You know, I was just walking feeling kind of discouraged because the albergue situation is pretty bad and there really aren't options in this next stretch and it's a weekend and uh, all these pieces are booked and albergues are closed and I was just walking along thinking I don't know what I'm going to do that I think my options are either to try to do an almost 50k day or to take a bus and I don't know, I was just feeling a little bit down and then I walked by this little chapel and so many of these chapels are closed and this was open and <laughs> there's just this bowl of fruit here and it almost made me cry because it was just perfect, it's so sweet and I think just what I needed so I think I need to just trust in the Camino that something will come through and to follow my feeling and know that it'll be okay. Look at all the butterflies. So my phone is dying. I don't know how much battery left, so this will just be a quick video and then maybe I'll take more later. But I am attempting to walk 48 kilometers today. <laughs> it's so much. Um, I think I'm about at 34, maybe 35, that would be nice. So not a ton to go, but it's gonna be a really, really long day of walking. Um, okay, better go. <laughs> This has got to be one of the prettiest mornings on the Camino yet. The light is just so soft. It's about 7.30 and it rained a little last night so there's dew on the grass and a bit of a mist over the fields. Yeah, it's just gorgeous. So the town of Sergio is I think a perfect little Camino town. It has one albergue and one restaurant bar but it was open for dinner or food at any hour yesterday and even better is that it was open by 7 a.m. maybe even earlier for breakfast this morning so <laughs> just had a cafe con leche and a croissant and I'm feeling pretty good so today I think is going to be a short day maybe only 19 or 20 kilometers um, with lots of stops because the path goes along the coast so Lots of beach time. There's another coastal. 
coastal variant after La Fabla, which once again goes right along this beautiful, beautiful coast. that you have to use to get either up from the beach or down to the beach. Just walking along and then I rounded the corner onto this. Got the sun rising in this beautiful water. There's a surfer out there. Oh, it's so great. I think today I'm gonna do maybe at least a 33 kilometer day. I might go a little bit further. There's a small albergue that I think would be really fun to stay in. Um, but the only sick beds and I don't know, but this time I'm trying not to worry and I'm actually not I feel really relaxed. I think I think I'm you know Gonna just trust that things will work out and things have worked out And so anyway, I have this long day and this has been the most beautiful stretch I think every day I find a stretch of walking that I think oh I can't get any better and then I come here and it's just so so beautiful so uh, even with a big day, I'm just gonna do that right combination for me, which is, you know, right now I'm feeling that the walking is really good and I feel strong. So I'm gonna walk fast, but also stop a lot. <laughs> and again, I'm on the slightly wrong path. So my alternate route would have taken me a little closer to the coast down here to go in the Yanis, which is that big area. Instead, I picked this nice winding, meandering, up and down path, which is beautiful. <laughs> but as you can see, it's going up in the opposite direction. And uh, I looked at a map and it's gonna loop back down and then rejoin with the official Camino, which is kind of out this way. And then I'll take a right and go into Yane. So it's totally fine, but it's just funny. I think every day I just seem to add a couple extra kilometers. <laughs> found another coastal variant leaving Yanis. So this Camino is turning into a Camino with as many walks by the coast, which are not the original Camino route, but as many walks by the coast as possible. So I think right now this path is beautiful and flat. And I read that a lot of tourists who come to visit Yanis and locals take this, um, but eventually I think it's gonna be kind of up and down and longer so we'll see about my long day planned i think there are several towns with options to stay and everyone's kind of asked oh where are you staying tonight where are you staying and i just keep saying i'm not sure i'll decide when i get there i'm at the point in this camino and this walk where i just feel really lucky and really grateful to get to be where i am and that i kind of found my way i think in life to doing this to traveling on my own and going on long walks and adventures and I just every day I, there's so much beauty and I'm kind of getting to choose how I want to spend these days and 
fulfilling these days with all the things that I love and and you know some days are tough and it's not all sunshine and rainbows it's not all perfect but I think I just feel really really grateful that I get to be here and I'm trying really hard to appreciate to appreciate as many moments as I can should I be concerned that the only way to go because here's the coast and here's the path and here is a little group of bulls <laughs> and I have to walk right by them I think it'll be okay they look very relaxed totally unconcerned about me I mean maybe that guy's a little bit concerned about me but I think it's gonna be fine I don't know who decides where the Camino path should be or how the Camino path was devised but you know the official Camino sort of is a bit inland like not far but I think it's just between the mountains and the sea but it's down there and meanwhile there's been this really quiet beautiful pretty much open path that's going right by the coast so in some ways it feels like a bit of a shame that a lot of the walking on this Camino is just away from the coast so you know it's there and you know it's close but it's you know the path doesn't follow it but meanwhile in some stretches there are options and it's been interesting for me on this Camino to kind of explore and find maybe more of these options where um, it's possible to walk right along the coast somehow I went wrong and I got myself trapped and I failed and the beach is right there there are roads the Camino and I have absolutely no idea how I'm gonna get there maybe I could backtrack over here I'm not sure where this goes hmm <laughs> so I don't think this is right either because now I'm going back the other way Ah, it's so frustrating because I just need to be down there, but it's just thorny and like impossible to get there. I don't know where I went wrong. Uh, <laughs> oops. Well, I made it to a road and basically I was up here and I was walking along the coast and then I got down where I could see the beach below me but there was no way to get down so I backtrack but through all these fields where I wasn't supposed to be and I had to kind of climb under a little gated area but I think this road is going to take me back to the beach I hope it does and then I'll be back on track okay I made it so I just want to show you I came down on this road finally and I was literally, like half an hour ago, right there, we're above that kind of brown awning, right where you see that gate. I was standing there looking down, having no clue how to get there. So I just did a really big loop through overgrown fields, but I made it back. It is about 10 after 4 and I've been walking I think 32, 33 kilometers. I still have at least 5 to go, maybe 6 uh, this day and <laughs> being a little longer than I thought. Anyway, there's a sign for a hostel in Albergue that a bunch of people that I was with last night, they're going to stay here. My intention was to continue on, but I'm looking at this sign and beer, cedra, coffee shop, ice cream, tapas bar. I mean... <laughs> They're making it really tempting. I still think I'm gonna keep walking, but mm, I don't know. It's tempting. So I think this worked out pretty well. It looks like, as long as there are beds, that white building behind the church is where I'm gonna be staying. And it kind of looks down over this field to the mountains. Ah. Somehow I ended up walking 40 kilometers today. It was supposed to be about 33. 
and I'm not sure <laughs> exactly how I added on that other seven. Um, but this place I'm staying in is perfect. It's perfect. It's got a view out of these fields and then right out to these mountains. It's a small area. There's nothing else here except the church. Um, it's not too crowded. 